All right, guys. I was asked to set this up to show you how I do a short side radius. It looks like you can see what I'm doing. Now, I think it's a little interesting. The way this is cast, It's almost a tenth higher. Hello. What'd you break? Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Somebody asked to for me to show how I do short side radius. I think it's interesting because when I take a good look at these, and I take the caliper and I go on the short side radius here. All right, that is, that one's one inch thousands towards the center of the cylinder all right it's almost 20 thousands higher I can see that with my my eyes as soon as I looked at it both of these are lower both of these are higher not sure what's going on it's probably the way it, I mean, obviously it's the way it was cast but I don't think it's designed like that in any case let's just double check our thickness it should be plenty thick for us to do what we got to do on it and uh, then I'll hit this and just double check we got you can see what I'm doing. It looks like you can see what I'm doing on the on the phone. Okay, we got two hundred thousand plus, two hundred thousand plus. I'm not gonna. I don't need to take that much off. I just need to. Need to drop that side a little bit on the short side radius. That has to do with the air speeds across the short side radius. So what I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to bring this into this last bottom cut, and I'm going to shape the whole thing straight back. There's also a big chunk on the side. Let's make sure that's extra metal so we can get rid of it. A big blob right here. Alright, we got over 200,000s there. We got plenty of metal. And I was thinking more and more as I'm working on these. I've never done a set of the Vortec bow ties. Especially, you know, I've never done either set. They're a little bit bigger, right? The, the smaller ones are 185 cc's. I cc'd the, a stock port intake and exhaust today. The intake was 166. The exhaust was 59.5. So the ports are relatively small on this. And they're very long because the short side radius is really deep. And the bowl is actually really deep, which makes it a longer port, which means your area is much less given the CC, which is an interesting thing. You have to think about that uh, according to port designs. I mean, if you compare this to like the 041X, the short side is literally almost twice as high. Okay, now I think I'm gonna do quite a bit of this with my big flame. Let's 
set for flame speed with the little DeWalt grinder, and we're off. See how we're doing with our metal thickness, I think. I'm going to take that down a touch more. And just even taking it down only makes it the same as the other side. Okay. I took off a decent amount of metal. We've got 150 thousandths there. You may want to ask, why do I always take the goo off after I sonic because the goo that I use is water based so if you're using it on iron it basically rusts everything you know what I think I'm going to change burrs which means I need to change speeds okay I'm going to use my double cut on the old Makita
Okay, I like that. That looks good. Okay, it still needs to be widened a little bit more inside. But that, uh, that answers the question we had. The other thing, I doubt you'll be able to see it, but while these were on the block, I used the scratch all and I wrote in all the cylinders. Now, I'm glad I didn't take anything out of the sides of these chambers, because they are exactly 430. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 430 block, and they are right on that. And you have to realize the head gasket you're going to use is probably 4166. So it'll be, it'll be plenty, uh, there's plenty of material left. I should probably put uh, head gaskets on and trace them before I, before I finish up the chambers. Alright guys, thanks.